God. Help. <laughs>
I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. He's getting angry. That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Oh, finally it's here. Where's Holy the shit. remote control? What's that? I... Now that I think about it... Why did you tell in time? I can't that? remember. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, retro. It means... It means... Oh, man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching a terrible show. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. That my and brother. Besides, blood and guts are needed. Well, you can't stop me, so let me alone. Don't violence, man. Or else. Have you noticed that your show isn't... Well, I... Have... Hey, look at... Shh. What? In this... Well, you... Fuck! Good. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good... Good. What the kitchen? Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty oh of rejects in the trash. God, who are you? Hey, That's a fine way to talk shit, to your mother. mother. Who is this guy? You're my mother? That's right. So sometimes I get treated like the hired okay, help around here. I don't remember you. Yeah? Of course you don't. Until you need your socks yeah. washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Hold on, let me mute this. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Okay, Honestly, eyes. Steve, I this thought is, you'd grow up a little after graduation. Shit, shit. I only hope right. that new me, job dude. will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. That's your new shirt, Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. What does it say? Just says follow me on Twitter, mate. Jesus. What happened here? What diet are you on? McDonald's and McDonald's, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, the AC hasn't. Did it, it, I think it's, it's so hot in here. What's going on? It's blowing out hot air. It wasn't. It wasn't working. So I, I jacked up the 80. It's hot air. That's hot air. Yeah, it wasn't fucking working. So I jacked it up. Do you want it hot or do you want it cold? Dude, I want it hot. At least like 73, but I put it at 77. It wasn't working. So I just jacked it, dude. What's this? Holy shit! Ooh. Yeah, like the action, like that? Yeah. It is gonna be fucking moist. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, it's so hot in there. Where's the pee stain? It's not hot, it's humid. It's humid. Where's the pee stain? This room is not insulated. You know that, right? That's why it gets so cold in here. Okay, you, you put it too high now. Fuck, man. It's I, humid. I forgot how to stream, dude. What do you do? Yeah, you need to say things in far mugs. Smile? Dude, don't break it. What did I break? The axe, dude. Okay, oh. don't, don't mess around with that, dude. Do you have health insurance? I don't. Neither do I, so don't, like, chop me. Okay, so what do you do? You just do this, and then you go... No, dude, hey, dude. What? I'm playing an immersive story game. Yeah, this is immersive. No, that, dude, dude. Don't, don't ruin my content. Oh my god! What is that? Dude, I haven't watched a single TikTok in, like, a month and a half, okay, dude? Don't, don't even give them the idea. Mate, what is that thumbnail though? 
You search TikTok and you get that? Yeah, you search TikTok. <laughs> and it, since you did it, if anybody gets that, it's you. Hands up. Not me. Okay, um, yeah, this is too hot. I like it hot. I can't see when I'm cold. Do you have your shirt? You mad? A little bit, yeah. A little bit mad. What was that noise? Is that the game chat? What game are you playing? I'm playing one of the most important story games out there ever. What's that? It's called, um... What the fuck is Jeez. this? It's called Harvest. Good luck. Uh, I have to talk to her. I have to seduce her, dude. Look, sister. Sister? Oh, a stepbrother and You sister? wake her. You what? I just sister. put her down That's to sleep. If she wakes up, ah. she'll just want to eat again. Like that? Dory, yeah. I'm busy. Yeah, if you think more? I'm going no. to play I'm along with this nonsense, you're right. crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Maybe I am crazy. I can't pull that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now, you dummy, are you happy? Too many? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. It's too loud. It's too loud. Uh, so this is a Steam uh, game. Wait, wait a minute. Oh my god, what the fuck is this game? Monk. That's what she is. What just happened? Wasp woman. Tetsuya Crumb is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own bees. Oh, dude, you got hype train. Go you like this? Are you immersed now? Yeah. Are you inside of the game? Yeah, this is good. This is a I fun game. I, I literally feel like I'm here right now. This feels like a fun game. I P would say PTA. PTA, too. same. What's the PTA got to do with anything? Show some respect. Is this, is this new scam train thing? The PTA has a yeah, lot free train because I've never paid to go on it once. The charity bake sale, the and I've been on the, every ride. By gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. You want me to type? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Okay. Stop speaking nonsense, really? dear. Sex? I thought you were gonna get immersed. Okay. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Breast. Kiss. Stop speaking nonsense, dude, dear. Dude, you're a you, you're a you're a humor, dude. You think of your your pee pee. Stop speaking nonsense, dude. <laughs> Guys, what do I type? Hug. Hug. Stop speaking That's nonsense, boring, dude. See, I told you guys, you can't have anything. Let's go with the dialogue, unfortunately. What about Harvest? Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? Melon. I What's don't have time to go do? into it now. Me Why not melon. take a walk around town and pick up someone that terrible else? Webcam? I'm busy. What's up? That's that webcam's the oldest. Yeah, this is like two hundred bucks, dude. Three hundred bucks. Oh, what a thing to you say to your, your mother. Stream? Was that an invitation? You swear on your now that your father is out of action. What thing did you say to your mother? Oh. Maybe later, dear. Right Maybe now, I later. have housework to do. What? So nice. Do you Don't forget Hell to put yeah. the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Wait, we're literally in. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door? Wait, is that his hand or what is that? It's the trash can. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hank, that kid over by the television. Your little brother is home sick this from school game. and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really sick? Look at the show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA charity bake sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. I don't know what the game's about. Oh, we just bought it. Skipping out of a charity affair. So when are you going to be back to farming a full time? I don't know. Damn it! Um, that's what I'm telling you. Now smile. Don't you dare! Now I'm doing a warm up stream. Get warm up with you. Yeah, I'm going to get on the warm up cut. Oh god. That <laughs> How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiance was a god? Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. All right, I'm gonna leave you to it, mate. Well, man, I'll see you later, man, eh? All right, mate. See you later, mate. See you later, mate. Oh, my shoes. You steal my shoes. Where are we going? He's in the mailbox. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? 
The best thing to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. Yeah, I so do that too, man. The you papers. Don't get paid for picking up papers. It's like anyway. when I was younger, dude. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out, and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Yeah, I do. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? In the broom room. Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. Ah, uh, he knows. Nuh -uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, get it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers, and that's that. See you later, alligator. Okay, so we have, we have to get the sneakers first then. Air conditioning, disc, power line, high voltage. Wait, this is actually kind of cool, though. Maybe in the room, yeah. That's not gonna like it. Oh no, my fuck, bro. Fuck, dude. Chubb, where, where would the sneakers be at? So it's unlocked. That's how it works. You have to go close to things to make them work. Bottom of the what? Oh, I see them. I'll go over here and then. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me. Should we just get out then? Coin in a drawer. Press an explore. We'll go explore. Why not? Maybe, maybe I'm getting too caught up. It's locked. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Oh, we could yoink the key. I'll just go explore then. General store, post office, barber shop. What do you guys think? General store, your house. You go to the neighbor's house, why not? Hello, Steve. How's the husband to be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? You should be ecstatic. No memory. Considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Good one, uh, dude. Right. And you are? You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. The fuck is that tucker? Use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. What about Stephanie? Speaking of Stephanie, I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. Dude, good I one. I don't have anything to do with that. 
That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. You could use the back seat of my Tucker for the maiden voyage. What a fucking creep, dude. Plenty isn't? big. Believe you me. I'd drive you around. And I wouldn't look in the back seat. I guarantee it. Though if you'd like to come up front and take the wheel a while, I wouldn't say nay. What the fuck? Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Yeah, I want to see don't it. Don't see why not, but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. A few months back, someone broke into my house, <gasps> trying to get into the garage. How do you save chat? I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Bye now. Chad, you save her. Wait, what the fuck? Juicer. Mr. Johnson erected an impenetrable fortress to protect his Tucker. That's it? Is there anything else here? Exit. Abandoned house. Let me, let me read the volume a little bit. It's a little bit, a little bit low. Whoa! It's not often that I get visitors. Are you the wasp woman? <laughs> I am Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The politics of honey. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. What? Yes, a great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Each painful welt, an act of love. What the fuck? When a bee stings, it and rips dies. itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appeals to those raised worshipping a god that demands sacrifice and atonement. But the wasp is promiscuous. promiscuous they are not as sympathetic to the masses because they don't die when they sting. They live to sting another day and they take pleasure from it. Okay. Yes, each pain. You're confused. What do you think I am? There's really nothing in here, dude.
for the car, okay. Shady Oaks Mortuary. Landscaper. Does it matter, chat? If we talk to people, does it does it does it do anything for us? Motive candles have been lit. Well wishers of the dead for the dead. Uh oh. The missing remains of some poor soul. Stephen, who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan, mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Besides, as one who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. The, Harvest Moon. the proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. Okay. As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the Blood Drive and the Bake Sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Neat. Such as... Pardon me, there are corpses to prepare. And my losses have been substantial of late. Yeah, I know, but the main If you're losses, sincerely then, interested I, I, I in the that. order, however, you should stop by the lodge and speak with the sergeant at arms. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? Of all the spots in Harvest, the lodge is the most prominent, literally and figuratively. It is the ambition of everyone here to join. And join you must to attain wisdom. What okay. kind of wisdom? If I knew, I'd be a member. I have the feeling you have what it takes to join the Order, Stephen. We all believe that. Join the Order? Whether or not you live up to your potential is up to you. This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums and societal rejects without families who wander into harvest uninvited. Chad, did, 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 then did, the order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Game is loud? Not shelters. Graves. I'll fix it. You see a great number of these hobos die while passing through. Don't ask me why, that's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? Okay. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living What's so happening? wearisome. Chat, this info gives me nothing. Is, is this all only to get items? I'm so confused. Use my brain. You're acting like I'm not using my brain right now, dude. I'm fully focused. He's like, he's like go to the lodge. Uh oh. This is, almost, this is almost like a book, but in visual form. Is it not? Big smooch. Okay. The lodge. Only initiates may enter the hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you? Say something? I did not speak, but my mind. Smooch, smooch, yours. smooch, XQCL, Telepathy. 20. But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger? 
for true knowledge. Yeah, sure, man. There are always obstacles to Yeah, I want to join the lodge, dude. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Okay. Members of the Order are privy to many hidden truths. Such as? They know what the Hello, trees Hello, excuse me, I just to want to ask to because I really need to know. They so I'm going to go ahead and ask because it matters this much to me and it affects my day and it's been they something in thinking about all day so I'm become. just going to finally say, how are you today? Great dude, fantastic dude, absolute pog. When you find I, I, the path, I the chat truth will be revealed to you. When you possess the truth, you will know what you do. And if anything remains forgotten, then it was never worth the knowing. What? True? Have you obtained an application from the postmaster? Not yet. If you would find... Fuck, now we gotta go to the postmaster, right? Now we're gonna get the app. Right? Yes? I need some help, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. What can I do for you today? Um. I'm sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on. You must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Just it's like not one, the dude. effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's no. very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Post now to get a gun and put That's I don't the one. Get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Okay, sir. Peace Next out. time you post, don't forget the zip code. Chat, there, ha there has to be something you read here, right? Right? Chat, what, what can we do here? Talk to her? We can't talk to her for some reason. Can you talk to her? She's trying to read her mail, dude. I don't want to, I don't want to disrupt her. He can't see. Back to the lodge. Guys, what do you guys think? We can't do anything here, dude. We gotta get out. School. More exploring. Steal it. No, the chat. School, fuck it, let's go to school, dude. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the what? world. <laughs> and and then watching messages. them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel. God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, the principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. Who's in? I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. Okay. What do you mean, quality time? 
There's a torpedo shed now. Whaley favors stern discipline. Corporal punishment as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. What the fuck? Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society. Guys, what the fuck is happening? for the large. Big guy, borrowing some quality time. The greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future. Give me a form, and dude. without dust. Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, Lance. And pay tribute to your inferiors. Okay. You never know who will come to power. Or who. Even now, wields it behind the scenes. He's still doing I know, you might already be a member of the Order. With access to the Lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior. And I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect. And spent some quality time. I didn't skip it. Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful what thing. What the fuck? As is adult quality time. Jesus. My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their hit? I can tell you in one word, Stephen. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Oh, hell yeah. And you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. The lobes? Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Stephen, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? Ask away, then. Ha! We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin, but a baseball bat. Oh, uh, what? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear, Colonel Rowe is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway, quick! What the fuck? If an A bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? <laughs> My stars, that was exciting. This lodge, what do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so if you care about your future. Yeah, 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 sure, man. Can you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Stop by any time, Stephen. I can't walk anywhere else, I can. Can we go anywhere? Let's go back.
Let's see. Where could we possibly go? Chat, where can we go to get it to, to get the thing? Missile. Find Stephanie. Meat plant. Oh! Who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Oh, right. The section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. Say the game. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Yeehaw. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn right they are. <laughs> Every one of them ready to rain death on the <laughs> own skis. Right All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof. <laughs> along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2, when I got my lower torso shot off in the war. What the actual fuck is happening? Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. All right. That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. So what about the button? Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my person all the time. No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. I thought no he was gonna fucking bomb. click it, dude. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust and harvest except me. Now doesn't that make you feel better? Remember... Save game. Did it save it? Is that a save? The game is bugged. Can't see the cutscenes. Wait, really? You went to window like this? Yeah, I don't think so. Reset the game, should we? Oh, window capture on, on, on OBS. Okay, I'll do it. Window capture on. Hold up, chat. Wait, what the fuck? Guys, what the actual fuck? DOS box?
Okay. Now what? Should I stretch it like that? Is that fine? Don't stretch it. Guys, this is, this is the best I can do. I think stretch is cool. goes there it's just what do you want wait what i knew it they won't leave me alone them and the kookaburros nine nine what the fuck goes there it's just me Steve what do you want did the llamas send you what if what if I said it so has to get them in check yeah that's good someone has to keep them in check I'm glad you stopped by again I want you to infiltrate this really 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 bad after the action going right. on over there I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? And don't come back unless you've got information for me. Sorry, chat. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so we didn't die here then, right? Remember, there's no sofa. I don't know why. Should we just get out then? Guys, I don't think we talked about this anymore. This guy's crazy. He said, go to the firehouse. Please excuse the mess. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom. 
but this garage defies color coordination. Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here. What the fuck? I don't converse on the job, Steve. I don't converse on the job, Steve. How is that a fire station? All the firemen are painting some naked dude. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Oh, cut it out, Spots, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. So, Steve, bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Parky, head of your fire department. I'm enjoying this, this is super fun. Don't be silly, everyone thinks this amnesia kick is a scream. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Besides, it's my job to keep abreast of developments in the community, to better serve you, the public. I'm sure you'll be thrilled when you learn of the many civic improvements we have planned for your fire department. Such as... Actually well, doing fire? Don't tell any of the others, but I've secured a bolt of the most divine mauve material. I've hidden it because, well, if any of these Marys got a hold of it, it'd be gone in a jiffy. So I'd rather keep it hush-hush. I'm going to make new drapes for the firehouse, and if I have any left, cross your fingers, I'm going to make everyone matching mauve pillow cozies. Those are civic improvements. Don't be such a party pooper, Steve. We're talking about art. Besides, we haven't had a fire in Harvest since the newspaper building burned down. So I'll admit that the Wasp Woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? Spot. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. Why, just the other day we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. All the dried out paper wasp nests clustered around our wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. Believe me, none of us wants to see another fiasco like the Sentinel fire. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Okay. It was arson. It was fire. Oh, please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up. And so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe in his wall... <sighs> Forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an okay, accident. Okay. Chat, it Let's was a safe where? Leave it at that. In the. Now, don't you go moving. In the paper building, right? Bye bye. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do. Stop it, you're messing me up. Stop it, you're messing me up. Okay. I don't con Well, this is something else. Okay. There's a safe we can go in there, right? Fire and his bill still burned down. Let's save it. Maybe the owner's house, right? Okay, I'm piecing the game together a little bit, I think, right now. 
Not really, actually. I'm, I think I'm lying with just done it. Shovel. Pumping held up. There's really nothing here, dude. Oh! Wait, we got the shovel! So you can click objects then. Young man, we really have again. nothing to say to each other. I have the feeling your image shall soon adorn my slab. And I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. Bye. Young man, we really... Keyword. You're spouting gibberish. You're spouting gibberish. Boy. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I've... Okay. There's nothing here, boys. What is this? There's a hole in the wall. Why? Can't go anywhere. I'm starting to get it now. Right? Chat, what, what do you do with, with, with the ledger? Shovel is revealing. Uh. Fuck me, why fuck me with that idea, dude? I'm just playing this like a weird story game, man. I think we should save here. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't use it anywhere. Well, that didn't work. Oh, well, that, okay. well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that Damn it. Well, that didn't, oh, well, that didn't oh, work. Man. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Pop Dem's house. Okay. What the fuck? Shovel the ashes at the paper building. I'm so confused right now. Let's get the fuck out. We can't just use a shovel. Let's get the fuck out. I can use a shovel on the ashes. Like this. Like that. Harvest bake sale. The button say. I 
at the postmaster, right? Because that, 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 that was like a post button. Sorry, son. Button. It's been missing for months now. I keep meaning to get another, but, well, the button's very distinctive. I'd have to file an S-411 with Washington to get another, and I just don't need the extra paperwork. Sure wish I could find it. Next time you... My button. Why, I lost that months ago. Where did you find it? Funny thing, that. I found it in now the ashes get a waiver. at the newspaper building. Easy. What are you implying? That I had something to do with setting the fire? Preposterous. Why, a hundred people must have visited that site since the fire. You just try showing that button to Sheriff Duane, son. He'll laugh you right out of his office. Where are you go then? Well, now I know where to go, dumbass. Oh, just go, just go to Sheriff. Right? Button? Now that's a pretty button, sure enough. Where'd you find it? The site of the old newspaper building. In the ashes. I'm surprised you missed it. Hmm. How about that? As you can see, it's the button of a postal worker. And we've only got it's one in harvest, chance. and he's missing one of his buttons. So what? If you're saying Boyle burned down that building, you've been watching too much TV. That button isn't evidence of anything. He could have dropped it there any time in the past six months after the fire. Do me a favor, boy. Leave the detecting to the detectives. Wait, really? Hello, Steve. Pleasure, I reckon. Then we haven't met before? I understand you witnessed Miss Whaley's dispensing a little discipline at the school. And she thinks you may be uh, feeling a mite bent about it. That's always the wisest course, I'm not, boy. I didn't see anything. I'm not Sticking your text. nose where it doesn't belong can get you in a world of trouble. Especially if you're a gynecologist. Heck. What is there that isn't a psychiatrist around who disagree about what a common influence a dent in the head can be. You can't argue with science, Steve. Oh, okay. Thanks, it's chat. bigger than all of us. Stop on. So he says go to the post residence. True? Ain't yours? Guys, Stephanie's house is not even, it's, it's not even a thing. It, 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 oh. There you go. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Pottstown household? Huh? Huh? Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. <laughs> Can't go on, have changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. That's how we get in there. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do. What? Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Okay, new blood, he says. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. 
What a horrible thing to say. Wait, why is it just standing mama? around baking cookies? Same cut of dress, same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Okay. This charity bake sale. What is it supposed to benefit? Stephanie, going upstairs? Oh, I just like talking about gruesome subjects. When you get right down to it, all charity is pretty ugly, isn't it? I don't follow. Ask Mr. Moynihan. He's I'm organized confused. this event. In conjunction with the lodge, naturally. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the lodge, but the order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application, but so far... Chat, listen. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Now nah, I look dumb for fucking typing it. What can you tell me about the lodge? I had to try it, Jack. It's science. Science did it. And secretive. It was an honest try. You want to take up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms? Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, wouldn't that be lovely? Fucking weirdos. Is anyone getting steal one? Sorry. You'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission. Are you fucking ki- Hello? She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Give my regards to your parents. What the fuck? Don't talk about a wedding. Is this is the guy like 16 or something? Yeah. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just once, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. The plot You're thickens. not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Yeah, no shit. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah, I can't remember anything. It's not simping, did it? I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, like a parody. A bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something They're really weird crazy. is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Wait, is it? Of course I'm right. Maybe my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. In another life. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together, and the same thing happened to both of us. Yeah. An accident. Something. Neither of us has bumps on our heads, if that's what you're getting at. 
Have you been able to remember anything that smile, else? Holy shit. Anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract images. Liquid. What the fuck is liquid chrome? chrome? Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? Escape? You haven't. Maybe my. Maybe we. Neither. Have you been. Well. Probably. There's nothing else here, well, right? What about. You're not making sense. Fuck me! How about. You're not making sense. Fuck me, dude! What happened? What happened? She didn't say it. Fucking weirdos. The wedding is only three weeks away. Not much time to get to know each other, is it? No. If it comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Too m Why? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. Your parents want to force you to settle down. <sighs> Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Okay. Chat, what's wrong with us to do here, dude? The bathroom, there's no bathroom anywhere. There's a bathroom? Where? There's no bathroom. They're both locked. There's nothing. Aha! Cough medicine. Yeah, what else to get? Click the painting. The what? How do you remove the painting? That's it. Why he yoinked all of it? How do you yoink it? Save. Yeah, let's see. Oral lube. What the fuck is oral lube? Oh, dude, I have a fucking I have, I have an idea now. Holy shit. Are you making some kind of point? Okay. If it isn't... Peephole? Beg pardon? You've got a peephole in the upstairs bathroom. It looks in on Stephanie's room. Well, I'll be darned. How dare 
are you? I'm no peeping Tom. I had no idea that was there. Then you won't mind if I tell Stephanie about it. Now, there's no need to scare Stephanie with this business. I guess peeping not. Tom. So long as you patch that hole. Well, I guess I could hang that picture somewhere else. I thought you had no idea where it was. Okay. Should I tell her? Should we expose him? There's a lot of back and forth. Holy shit. Steve. It's good to talk to you, but if we're going to escape this wedding... Yeah, chill out. People. Stephanie, I think you should know. There's a peephole hidden behind the picture in the bathroom. You mean... People? They're spying on me? I'm afraid so. So that's the scraping I hear every night. The picture sliding along the wall. <sighs> Disgusting. I've got to get out of here, Steve. The thought of that fat slob <laughs> watching me. Okay, I confronted Potsdam about it. He tried to play dumb, but I got him to say he'd fix it. Thank you, Steve. I don't know what I'd do without you. Look at that smile. Jesus. Come back. So that didn't do anything for us, chat. That's, that's, that's the story. What am I supposed to do here, dude? Where should we go? To the butcher. Meat plant? Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Who the fuck is Pat O'Reilly? What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I can't get in to see him. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. A lot of times when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess, I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Okay, um, come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? They're not the animals, they're fucking humans. The product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cuts. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the Lodge use us to cater their affairs? What the fuck is happening? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. There are certain tricks of the cutting trade, costs. Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things, if you're creative. Okay. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. And this. A lot of times, I must confess, but red meat is one of them. Yeah, chill out, chill out, chill out. Of course. Bye bye. Don't be so. Is there anything we need here? Chad, do we need anything here? Can't talk. 
What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? Maybe I get sick of do-gooder busybody sucking around here all the time. A man's up to his elbows. Good, good job, Andrew. Don't be such a... Fuck you. Okay. So I think we should go see Dad and get, and get, get the paper, right? Go see Dad, then we can get the paper. And then get the meat to the thing. Right? I told you I'm busy, Steve. Hank. Your little brother is home. Is he real? Look. I don't know. I don't know. Don't you? Don't forget to put Fuck him. I told you. Don't forget. I told you. Hank. Your little. Is he real? Look at. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. And don't then we go down there. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to. I tried to hope. Your father. Okay. Don't. So we need to get the key to open it up. <laughs> I fuck with it earlier, chat. What the fuck you talking about? I told. Look. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now that your father is out of action? Maybe later, dear. Right now I have housework to do. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You Okay. Stop wasting my time, young man. Chat, what, what's the thing we should do? Find the key, but where though? Barber shop. Wait, that, that's even a thing? Is it a thing? Barbershop. We get a haircut, why not? Did that song right now? Uh, it just paused. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Tyler. It's well, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding. What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand the word What the, the fuck I am say. I playing, dude? Nice to- Hello there, youngster. They say them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wildly picked. A you saucer. don't trust the intergalactic boy without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Anytime, Steve. That's it, anything else here? There's nothing here. All your items we checked though. The pole. Fuck, dude, I just cut up my finger. Chat, where do we go next? Lodge application? We don't have it yet. At the mail place. Sorry, son. I hear you. Anyone? It's too late for that. 
hear the wheat rustle in the wind, the scythe nears, can the fall be far behind? Okay, Next time you post, don't forget. Chad, where do we go? Dinner? Okay, chat. I'm gonna go for this game. Fuck it. I'm done. I'm losing it. Okay, done. I'm sorry. I, guys, I can't do it. Guys, I can't do it, okay? I admit, I admit it. I admit it. I have a tiny bit of ADHD, okay? A tiny bit. I can't do it. I can't stay focused. Guys, I, I'm asking Chad, did it? Did it? Dialoguing like that are kind of, you know, 